There are 27 starters in the Royal region you can choose from, and today I'm going to give you the best starter choice so you can travel the Royal region with the best starter in Pokemon Brick Bronze. I'm going to be informing you about three Pokemon you can choose from that will make your journey easier for you. But before we talk about the three best starters, let's talk about the starters who are just barely short of the pinnacle, which are none other than grass types. In brutal honesty, outside of the competitive scene, grass type starters suck in Pokemon Break Bronze. They don't stand a chance against the gym leaders, Tess, or Team Eclipse, but they perform decently well against Jake, but Jake's a horrible trainer. I mean, look at him. I personally would not pick a grass type starter, but in my opinion, these three Pokemon reign supreme to any of the grass types in Pokemon Break Bronze. Let's start off with the number three spot, with that being Greninja. And before you start going crazy in the comments, let me explain. Greninja is a fantastic Pokemon. With the water dark typing and abilities like Protein and Battle Bond, it can perform phenomenally well against trainers like Sebastian, Steven's Archops, Ryan Steelix, Excadrill and Claydol, Zeke's Crocodile and Houndoom, and Captain B's Gengar, Miss Magius, and Aegislash. However, Greninja has a hard time countering your rival's Pokemon and Team Eclipse Pokemon. Since Jake uses two water types, an electric type, and Tess having a monotype team of dragon types, Greninja has a hard time countering these teams. Team Eclipse also use poison or dark type Pokemon, but depending on the trainer, they could carry bug types, electric types, or fighting types. And Greninja actually has the upper hand against the admins, but moral of the story is that most of these Pokemon hurt Greninja, leaving Greninja at the number three spot. The number two spot, we have Charizard. Charizard is one of, if not the most popular Pokemon in Pokemon history, and Charizard possesses two mega evolutions on top of that, giving you an option on how you'd want to use Charizard. Both are really good and are honestly personal preference, but let me explain Charizard's performance. Charmander annihilates Chad and Sebastian if you teach it Dragon Rage at level 16. It stands a good chance against Steven Skarmory. Charizard could sweep Ryan's team if you could get your hands on Solar Beam and Dragon Pulse before the 6th gym. It destroys Fissy's team. Charizard could sweep Zeke's team if you teach Charizard Focus Blast, and it's strong against Captain B's Decidueye and Aegislash. Charizard could perform phenomenally well against your rivals and Team Eclipse if you give Charizard the proper movesets, but Charizard doesn't perform as well as the number one Pokemon on this list. And the best starter in Pokemon Brick Bronze is Mudkip. Yep. Mudkip might be a little rocky at the start, but if you evolve Mudkip into a Marshop before you fight Chad, it's game over. Marshop learns Mudshot as soon as you evolve it, which destroys Chad's team and Sebastian's team. Swampert stands a really good chance against Steven if you teach it Ice Beam, Rock Slide, or Ice Punch at the Move Tutor. Swampert sweeps Ryan's team. Swampert will have a hard time facing Fissy and Quinson, but it will redeem itself by performing really well against Zeke, and it plays fairly decently against Captain B. And Swampert is a great counter for the Team Eclipse grunts, admins, and even the boss. It's also a really good counter against Tess, Jake's Arcanine, Needle King, and Substriker. And you can honestly beat Pokemon Brick Bronze with Swampert only. While there are a lot of great starters you can choose from, in my opinion, these are the three best starter Pokemon you can choose from in Pokemon Brick Bronze. And with that being said, I'm out. Peace.